Imagine this. You're floating in the vast emptiness of space. No spaceship, no suit, no helmet. Just you, completely exposed to the vacuum. No sound, no air, no pressure. The Earth is a blue marble in the distance. The stars, silent witnesses to your final minute. You have 60 seconds. One minute before your body begins to shut down. One minute before your mind slips away. No, you won't explode. Hollywood lied. But what's about to happen is far more disturbing and far more real. In the next few minutes, we'll walk through every second. What you'd feel, what your body would do, what your brain would desperately try to hold on to before it all goes dark. Let's find out what really happens when a human faces the universe. Completely unprotected. Einstein would call this an extreme thought experiment. I call it a very bad day in orbit. The very first second in open space is nothing like the movies. There's no dramatic explosion, no cartoonish swelling. Instead, there's something much worse. Silence, suddenness, and pain. As soon as you're exposed, the pressure around your body drops to zero. Instantly, your lungs, still holding air, become a threat to your survival. The vacuum doesn't politely wait. It rips the air straight out of you. Not just from your mouth, but from deep within your chest, violently and uncontrollably. It feels like being punched from the inside out. Your instinct screams at you to inhale, but there's nothing to breathe. The pressure in your ears vanishes. Your eardrums strain. Your chest tightens. A burning sensation spreads through your throat and lungs as they collapse slightly, like a balloon violently deflating. In just one second, the vacuum has already begun dismantling you. It doesn't need claws or weapons. It simply takes away what your body can't live without. Pressure, air, and control. And that is only the beginning. By the fifth second, the vacuum starts boiling you. Not in heat, but in physics. With no pressure to hold them down, the fluids on your body's surface begin to vaporize. Saliva bubbles in your mouth, your eyes and tongue start to swell painfully, and your skin tightens as moisture escapes. It's like your body is fizzing from the inside out. You feel dizzy, confused, and unanchored. Panic floods your mind, but there's no air to scream. Your senses are slipping, and you know it. Around the 10-second mark, the lights start to go out. Literally. With no oxygen left, your brain begins shutting down. Sounds fade into silence. Your vision narrows, and a sharp, crushing headache explodes behind your eyes. Blood is no longer delivering what your brain needs, and reality itself starts slipping away. Your last clear thought is simple and terrifying. This is it. And then, darkness. Despite what you might think, you don't freeze instantly in space. It's cold out there, around 3 Kelvin. But in a vacuum, heat has nowhere to go except through slow radiation. So while your body starts losing warmth, it's not dramatic. Not yet. What you feel, if you're still conscious, is the dryness. The moisture in your skin, eyes, even your tongue begins to evaporate. Your lips crack. Your skin tightens. The freezing comes later. For now, you're drying out like a forgotten fruit in a dead, airless void. By the time you hit the 30-second mark, the damage to your body becomes irreversible. Without oxygen, your cells begin to starve. The brain 
already deprived of the vital energy it needs, starts to shut down in an attempt to conserve what little function it has left. Your heart is still beating, but it's pumping oxygen-deprived blood, so every pulse becomes weaker, less effective. At this point, it's no longer a question of if you'll lose consciousness. It's when. If you're somehow still aware, your thoughts will be fragmented and confused, disconnected from reality. You are a body on autopilot, desperately trying to hold on to life, but all systems are failing. At the one minute mark, your body has already crossed the threshold between life and death. Your brain has been starved of oxygen for far too long, and most of your vital systems are either shutting down or irreparably damaged. If you're lucky, you're unconscious by now, shielded from the overwhelming pain and confusion. If not, you're fully aware that you're beyond saving, floating in the cold void, a casualty of the harsh laws of space. The cells in your body are dying, and there's no coming back. It's not dramatic. It's not cinematic. It's just the stark reality of the universe, indifferent and unforgiving. If you were to be pulled back into the safety of a spaceship in this last moment, there's a slim chance you could survive, but the damage might be irreversible. In space, life is fragile, and your 60 seconds are up. Space doesn't care about your survival. It's vast, unfeeling, and indifferent to human life. One minute without a suit, and your body starts breaking down. Not with dramatic explosions or flashes of light, but through the quiet, relentless forces of physics. The vacuum takes away your breath, your warmth, your sanity, and in the end, your life. But there's a reason we don't venture into space without protection. It's not just to avoid dying. It's to understand how precious our existence really is. We've conquered Earth, but the universe still holds us in check, reminding us that we're not invincible. So next time you look up at the stars, remember, space isn't a playground. It's a reminder that our time here is fragile. And while we may push the boundaries of exploration, the vastness of the cosmos will always remind us of how little control we truly have.